So the first step in controlling exposure is through your lens. And the only thing within the lens that actually controls the amount of light entering is your iris, or f-stop, or aperture. You'll hear all three of these terms thrown around. So what the f-stop does is it allows you to close down to reduce the amount of light coming through your lens. Now this has a lot of different factors. Many different lens makers have different techniques of doing this and it's really a pretty incredible science. So on most lenses, on the front here, you'll have a number that says one colon and then a number. And that number is the fastest or the most open that that lens can go. Typically these numbers go from 2.8, 4, 5, 6, 8, 11, 16, 22. Each of these numbers correlate to a way of reading light. And what it is is that with each number, you're effectively cutting the light in half you're reducing the amount of light coming in. And it's a little confusing because sometimes people say, oh, let's stop down. And then you're going to a higher number. But really what you're saying is you're reducing the amount of light coming into your lens. The easiest way to think of an iris is to think of your own eyes, actually. The pupil is one of the most incredible lenses in the world. If you go outside and look into a friend's eyes, you can see that their pupils will be very small. You go inside then to a dark room, let's say, and the pupils will begin to open. They're allowing more light in, allowing you to see better in that dark. So although the camera lens is very similar to your eye and you're able to reduce the amount of light coming in, there's many other factors that come into getting a good exposure. Through our pupil, you then have the brain, one of the most sophisticated things in the world. And for a camera, there's a lot more that goes into getting that right exposure. So another key element to your iris or your f-stop is that as you open up, as you have that lower number, your depth of field gets much less. So let's say you're shooting at f1.4. So if you look at this image, it's shot at an f1.4. The depth of field is incredibly shallow, and although you're able to see in a very dark situation, it's really hard to get everything in focus. On the flip side, if you go down to an f16, much more comes in focus. Your depth of field becomes much greater and this is really where the f-stop affects your image. It says how much is going to be in focus and how difficult is it going to be for you to get what you want to be in focus. And while we're just touching on this here, we will be coming back to this and talking about how focus affects your image. How do you control that and what are the other factors when getting things in focus. There's a reason that people say it's all about the glass. This is the first thing the light travels through and ultimately gives you the look that your camera is going to be seeing. 